The Italian Coast Guard has taken control of a ship carrying hundreds of migrants which was abandoned by its crew. And our top story, Buckingham Palace has issued a strongly worded denial that Prince Andrew was involved in any impropriety after he was named in American court documents related to a convicted paedophile. Well, the claims were made in a lawsuit connected to the conviction of US billionaire Jeffrey Epstein, a friend of the prince. A woman has alleged in papers filed in Florida that she was forced to have sex with Andrew when she was 17, which is under the age of consent in the state. Well, Sky's Rhiannon Mills is here in the studio with me. Uh, uh, Rhiannon, what do we know about these claims? So these allegations have appeared this week in documents that have been filed in the court in Florida and they outline claims which are being made by a young woman uh, in relation to the wealthy American businessman Jeffrey Epstein. Now you might remember previously he was jailed for 18 months back in 2008 after he admitted uh, soliciting sex with an underage girl. Now since he was jailed another number of other young women, dozens in fact, have come forward and made these claims against him. Now, now this young woman is saying that he effectively used her as a sex slave and would send her out to many wealthy and influential men. Now we've been reading through these court documents and in one quote it says that for instance one such powerful individual that Epstein forced her to have sexual relations with was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew aka the Duke of York. So what is Buckingham Palace saying? We said in the link there is strongly worded to that. Yeah, a fairly lengthy statement we've had uh, this afternoon in the last hour or so. And a palace spokesperson has said, this relates to long-standing and ongoing civil proceedings in the United States to which the Duke of York is not a party. As such, we would not comment on the detail. However, for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. And in that statement, they are hinting at the fact and it's important to point out that these legal proceedings are not specifically against Prince Andrew and as a result he hasn't so far had a right of response in a formal sense, in a legal sense if you like. However we do have to point out that in the past Prince Andrew has spent time uh, with Mr Epstein, he was seen in New York with him back in 2011, that was after Mr Epstein has spent time in prison. But the Duke has always denied any sexual contact with young women linked to Mr Epstein and has also said, and he has stressed, that he is categorically untrue. Well, a little earlier, our royal correspondent Peter Hunt told me how the court papers came to light. Well, the allegations are in these court documents. There's a, a copy here, which um, were brought to our attention by Politico, the, the, the political website, a few days ago. They, uh, they unearthed them. And these are court documents from a Florida court. And this is a long-running, complicated legal action which has been taken, this began in 2011. And it's against an American businessman called Jeffrey Epstein. And Jeffrey Epstein has served 18 months in prison for soliciting a minor for prostit prostitution. And back in 2011, Prince Andrew had to apologise for his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein and acknowledge that it was a mistake. But what these court documents do, which hasn't been done before, is that in these court documents, for the first time, an unnamed individual woman uh, alleges in these documents that uh, she was forced to have sexual relations with Prince Andrew when she was a minor in three times in three different locations. And what has been the response from the palace to this? Well, a very strong rebuttal and denial, and I can read it to you. A palace movement said this relates to long-standing and ongoing civil proceedings in the United States to which the Duke of York is not a party, so it's not about him. He has been named, but it's not a, a case against him. Um, and it's, they say, as such, we would not comment on the detail. And the statement goes on, however, for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. So what does this mean for Prince Andrew then? Well, he's paying a heavy price for this friendship with uh, Jeffrey Epstein, which he acknowledged at the time was a mistake on his part. I mean, you know, this statement is interesting that they should in the first place, because in the past the palace would not comment on these sort of things. They would just hope they'd go away. But I think given that it's now, as was on the political website, as I said, it's on other national newspaper websites, I think they felt they had no uh, choice but to make it very clear that this was uh, the case, that it, this denial is absolute, total and emphatic, one of the people close to him uh, said to me. Um, and you know, when this came out in 2011, he paid a heavy price then because he lost his job as a special envoy for uh, UK trade abroad. Uh, critics said he was Air Mars Andy, he was always flying off all over the place. His supporters argued that actually he as a royal got access, particularly in the Middle East, to people other ministers wouldn't necessarily get access to, and that he did a very good job. So he, he lost that job because of this and because uh, Epstein 
Jeffrey Epstein gave £15,000 loan to his ex-wife, the Duchess of York, for which he had to apologise also. Um, and I suppose the people around him would argue, since 2011, that he's tried to move on. He's reinvented himself. His focus very much now is on education and apprenticeship. And I think they just accept that while this rumbles on through the American legal court process, it will continue to mildly haunt him. Peter Hunt. Prince Andrew was involved in any impropriety after he was named in American court documents related to a convicted paedophile. The claims were made in a lawsuit connected to the conviction of US billionaire Jeffrey Epstein, a friend of the Prince. A woman's alleged in papers filed in Florida that she was forced to have sex with Andrew. Well, Sky's Rhiannon Mills is here with me now. Uh, what's the latest on this, Rhiannon? Yes, yeah, so these are allegations that have appeared in documents that have been filed in a court in Florida this week. Um, now, they relate to a young woman who claims that she was used for sex by Jeffrey Epstein, who's that wealthy American banker. It was back in 2008 that he was uh, jailed for 18 months after admitting having sex with an underage girl. And over the years, subsequently, dozens of women have come forward and also made similar allegations against him. Now, in these court documents, the young woman involved claims that not only was she used for sex with, by Jeffrey Epstein, but she was effectively used as a sex slave and, and farmed out to influential and wealthy men. Now, we've been reading through some of the documents, and I can read you one of the quotes uh, in which they say, one such powerful individual that Epstein forced Jane Doe, number three, that's what they call him, the victim, to have sexual relations with was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew, a.k.a. the Duke of York. Jane Doe, number three, was forced to have sexual relations with this prince when she was a minor in three separate geographical locations. The documents then go on to say that those locations were New York, London, and also a private island which was owned by Epstein in the US Virgin Islands. What have we heard from the palace? So, during the afternoon, we have had quite a, a full statement come out from a spokesperson at the palace. Uh, it says, this relates to a long-standing and ongoing civil proceedings in the United States to which the Duke of York is not a party. As such, we would not comment on the detail. However, for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. And within that statement, they are trying to point at the fact that this legal dispute that's going on in America isn't specifically aimed at Prince Andrew, and as a result of that, he's not had the chance to publicly say uh, what exactly he thinks about these statements. However, it's important to point out that we have in the past seen Prince Andrew criticised for spending time with uh, Jeffrey Epstein. We can show you a photograph of them in New York back in December 2010, uh, and that was just after Jeffrey Epstein had been released from prison. Interestingly, I have spoken to another man, Alan Dersovitz, who is a Harvard law professor. He's also named uh, in these documents. He is denying any of the allegations that are made against him and claiming that the woman involved is purely saying these things to try and get hold of money. Also, it's important for us to say that while the Duke has spent time with Jeffrey Epstein, he has continued to say that he has never spent time uh, with young women in Mr Epstein's company. And also, all these allegations against Mr Epstein, he didn't know anything about it until they came out in public. Yeah, thanks very much indeed families in the region so this is their in their view their, their only their only route out of the conflict elizabeth colin russell thanks very much indeed kathy thanks Matt. now buckingham palace has strongly denied that a teenage girl in america was forced to have sex with the duke of york prince andrew has been implicated in a florida court case involving women who alleged they were exploited by the investment banker and convicted paedophile jeffrey epstein well, Victoria MacDonald is at the palace now. So, Victoria, denials all around then? Yes, well, you can imagine to the intense irritation I imagine of Buckingham Palace, these two names are once again linked. Prince Andrew with Jeffrey Epstein. Now, this is a story that was broken by the American news website Politico, and it shows that these court documents, which we have now seen, were filed in a Florida court earlier this week by a woman who claims that the American investment banker, Epstein, forced her to have sex with Prince Andrew. Now, she is claiming that she was 17 at the time, and that means under Florida law that she is considered a minor. Now, it has to be said that Buckingham Palace strongly and categorically denies any of these allegations.
Jeffrey Epstein, the investment banker who once had friends in very high places, including Prince Andrew. In 2008, though, he was sent to prison for soliciting paid sex with a 14-year-old girl. He was placed on a sex offenders register. Prince Andrew was later forced to stand down as the UK's special trade emissary after it was revealed he'd visited Epstein on his release. Now the Duke is named in court documents filed this week by a woman claiming she was repeatedly forced to have sexual relations with him. She claims Epstein passed her around his rich and powerful friends as a sex slave. Her claim is part of a lawsuit brought by a number of women who say Epstein exploited them. Prince Andrew is not a named party in the legal claim, and today Buckingham Palace said... This relates to long-running and ongoing civil proceedings in the United States, to which the Duke of York is not a party. As such, we would not comment in detail. However, for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. The two men had known each other for years. My news with Colin Brazier. Hello there and good evening. Buckingham Palace has issued a strongly worded denial that Prince Andrew was involved in any impropriety after he was named in American court documents related to a convicted paedophile. The claims were made in a lawsuit connected to the conviction of US billionaire Jeffrey Epstein, a friend of the Prince. A woman is alleged in papers filed in Florida that she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew. The Sky's Rhiannon Mills is following this story for us. Rhiannon, good evening to you. Tell us about these claims. So, Prince Andrew, he has been named in these allegations which have been put forward in papers to a court in Florida this week. Now, the allegations, the claims come from uh, a woman who primarily is saying that she was exploited for sex by the wealthy American businessman Jeffrey Epstein. Now, he was previously jailed back in 2008 for 18 months after admitting having sex with an underage girl. But since he spent time in prison, Dozens of other women have also come forward, and this is where this woman fits into the situation. She is now going through the court process and has said that as well as using her for sex, Epstein also effectively used her as a sex slave and trafficked her to many wealthy and influential men. Now, we've seen these court documents, and in one quote that we can read to you now, it says, One such powerful individual that Epstein forced Jane Doe, number three, that's what they're calling the victim, to have sexual relations with, was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew, a.k.a. the Duke of York. Jane Doe, number three, was forced to have sexual relations with this prince when she was a minor in three separate geographical locations. Now, the documents then go to say that those locations were New York, London, and also a private island that was owned by Epstein in the American Virgin Islands. And what have the palace had to say? So, first of all, the palace was saying this is an ongoing legal issue. They didn't want to comment. However, as the afternoon went on, they did release a statement. And in that, they say that this relates to long-standing and ongoing civil proceedings in the United States, to which the Duke of York is not a party. As such, we would not comment on the detail. However, for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. And what they're pointing out within that statement is the fact that these legal proceedings that are going on in America, they're not directly pointed at the Duke of York. And because of that, he hasn't formally been able to put his side of the story across. We have to remember, however, that the Duke of York has been criticised in the past for the time that he spent with uh, Jeffrey Epstein. We can show you a picture of when they spent some time in New York uh, back in December 2011, shortly after Mr Epstein was uh, released from prison. However, Prince Andrew has, throughout all of this, always said that he did not have any sexual contact with young women link, linked to Mr Epstein and also that he didn't know anything about these allegations against him until they were made public. Rhiannon, thanks very much indeed. Uh, that story likely to feature in tomorrow's newspapers. ...allegations against Prince Andrew is categorically untrue after he was named in a US lawsuit concerning underage sex. Our royal correspondent Peter Hunt has been giving Drive more details. Well, they're in uh, papers, a copy of which I've got in front of me from a court in Florida, and they were unearthed uh, a few days ago by the uh, Politico website, the political website Politico, and uh, they're from an, an individual, they're part of an ongoing, long-running case against an American businessman called Jeffrey Epstein, and he has served 18 months in prison for soliciting a minor for prostitution, and he was 
a friend of Prince Andrew back in 2011. And back in 2011, Prince Andrew apologised for the friendship and admitted that he had made a mistake. Now, the allegation, uh, which of course from uh, Prince Andrew's side and from his side is viewed as deeply libelous, the allegation is that um, this unnamed woman was forced to have as the document states, sexual relations with Prince Andrew when she was a minor, uh, that is, you know, underage, uh, three times in three different locations. And we've had a response from the palace. Yes, I mean, they, they, they point out, as I was saying, that this is a long-standing, ongoing civil proceedings in the US. They say that the Duke of York is not a party to it, so this isn't, he's just been named, but he's not uh, being pursued by these people. It's, it's against uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Um, and so the statement goes on, as such, we would not comment on the detail. However, for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. What does this mean, Peter, for Prince Andrew? Well, it's very difficult, really, because, I mean, he, he's paying quite a heavy price for his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, which back in 2011 he admitted was a mistake. Back in 2011 he lost his job uh, because of that and because his wife, uh, former wife, the Duchess of York, uh, had to admit to an error in uh, receiving £15,000 from Mr Epstein to pay off her debts. He was uh, Britain's sort of UK trade en envoy, travelling the world, representing uh, British business. Uh, critics called him Air Mars Andy. Supporters said that he actually unlocked doors that others didn't, and he did a very good job for British business. But with the whole this whole Epstein saga back then, he had to give up that job. He's reinvented himself, focusing on education. And in the past, when such a thing would have happened, the palace probably would have not said anything. They'd have maintained a, a dignified silence over what they would view as deeply libelous allegations. But I think, given that it's out there, it's on you know major British newspaper websites, they felt they had to say something. And, and those around him make it very clear that this denial is absolute, total, and emphatic. Um, but it is, I think, they accept, given the way the American judicial process goes on, the way it all rumbles on year after year, they accept that there will be moments when his name does get dragged into it because of his friendship with Mr Epstein. That's our royal correspondent, Peter Hunt. Categorically untrue, Buckingham Palace on American claims about the Duke of York. Papers filed in the US court say he was involved in sex with a minor. Prince Andrew was involved in the sexual abuse of an underage girl 13 years ago. The documents were served in Florida on a one-time friend of the Prince. Our world editor, Tim Hewitt, has more details. Prince Andrew is not one of the parties involved in the civil proceedings where these allegations have been made. They centre around a man who has already caused him considerable embarrassment, Jeffrey Epstein, a US investment banker who was jailed in 2008 for soliciting a minor for prostitution. The Prince's friendship with Epstein continued after his release, but Andrew vigorously denied knowledge of Epstein's wrongdoing. Now, lawyers for a woman given the name Jane Doe No. 3, allegedly 17 at the time, say in court documents, Epstein forced Jane Doe No. 3 to have sexual relations with a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew, a.k.a. Duke of York. Palace officials initially declined to comment, but then issued a forceful denial. The palace really had no option whatsoever to say something. It was getting up ahead of steam, and quite frankly, what they would have done was sought legal advice. The legal advisers would have gone to the Duke of York to get cast iron guarantees that he was not involved, and then they would have given their advice to release the statement. That statement said that for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. Well, this has been a difficult day for officials here at Buckingham Palace. The initial reaction was not to dignify these allegations with a response, but as the story gained weight throughout the day, it was decided there was no option but to issue this very forceful denial. The hope is that after tomorrow morning's headlines, that will be an end of it. Tim, thank you. It's Sky News with Colin Brazier. Well, the good evening, Buckingham Palace has issued a strongly worded denial that Prince Andrew was involved in any impropriety after he was named in American court documents related to a convicted paedophile. The claims were made in a lawsuit connected to the conviction of US billionaire Jeffrey Epstein, a friend of the Prince. A woman has alleged in papers filed in Florida that she was forced to have sex with Prince Andrew. 
or Skies, Rhiannon Mills is here. Uh, Rhiannon, take us through his claims. So Prince Andrew, he's been named in these allegations that appeared in documents that have been filed to the court in Florida this week. Now they come from a woman who claims that between 1999 and 2002 she was exploited for sex by the wealthy businessman Jeffrey Epstein. Now he was jailed in 2008 for 18 months after admitting soliciting an underage girl for prostitution and while he spent that time in prison dozens of other women came forward so this is just the latest in what's quite a long-running uh, court appeal. Now this latest claimant says that Epstein used her effectively as a sex slave that she was being trafficked to influential men, wealthy men and in the court documents that we've seen there's one quote where it says one such powerful individual that Epstein forced Jane Doe number three, that's what they're calling the victim, uh, to have sexual relations with, was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew, aka the Duke of York. Jane Doe number three was forced to have sexual relations with this prince when she was a minor in three separate geographical locations. And in the documents it says those locations were London, New York and also a private island that was owned by Epstein in the US Virgin Islands. Now Buckingham Palace have released a statement in which they have gone on to say that this relates to long-standing and ongoing civil proceedings in the United States to which the Duke of York is not a party. As such, we would not comment on the detail. However, for the avoidance of doubt, any suggestion of impropriety with underage minors is categorically untrue. And it's important to point out that what they're saying there is that this lawsuit in America is not specifically aimed at Prince Andrew and as a result he hasn't had the opportunity to respond in a formal way to these claims. However, over the years we do know that he has been criticised for spending time with Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, it was in 2010 that photographs were taken of them spending time in New York shortly after he'd been uh, released from prison. This is Mr Epstein. But all along the Duke of York has said that he has never spent any time with underage girls linked to Mr Epstein and also said that when it comes to these allegations he knew nothing about it until they were made public. Rhiannon, thanks very much. Uh, that American lawsuit naming Prince Andrew is featuring prominently in tomorrow's newspapers. We'll be taking a first look at them. He felt that he had no choice but to say something. It places Prince Andrew in a very difficult position because, of course, he's not a, a party to these court proceedings in America. From his perspective, it's very unfortunate that a past friendship with a convicted sex offender, which he's apologised for, has reared its head again at a time when Prince Andrew is reinventing himself as someone who works with young children, who focuses on apprenticeships, and who is passionate about a technology. Those around the Prince insist that this denial of wrongdoing is total, absolute and emphatic. <laughs>